Hola a todos, bienvenidos a este video, ya lo tengo en español desde hace un año y meses y me lo han estado pidiendo en inglés y es por eso de que hoy lo voy a hacer en inglés. Hello guys, thank you for being here, I already had this video in Spanish, so people have been asking me for an English version and here I am with the English version. Keep in mind my English is not that fluent, but I will try my best. I will explain you or I will try to explain you what am I am doing when I am taking my part. Always, always make sure to check it in case if the car is not yours, check the sun visor, check that all those lights are working, the, um, the sun row pendulum is moving back and forth without any problem. In case if you know something that is not working correctly, let the customer know in case if the car is not yours. If you don't have experience doing headliner or doing upholstery, uh, make sure to take some photo when you are taking them apart because uh, it will help you in case you don't, you don't remember how to put everything back. It's a Mercedes. If you break something, part must be expensive. And sometimes it is hard to find the part, especially when the car are old. See, I am checking the sunroof. It is working per perfectly. So if it is working perfectly, per perfectly, it should work perfectly when I'm putting back. Uh, and everything is working. It is not necessary to remove the sunroof panel to uh, wrap the headliner, to cover the headliner. It is, not, it is necessary to remove the rear quarter panel to uh, upholstery this headliner. I will remove the sunroof panel because I'm going to make it a uh, new. I'm going to re-upholstery, but it's not necessary. I am not going to show you how to upholstery because I have a video related to that process. And I'm going to show you how you can reupholster the quarter panel because I have a video related to that process. So I'm going to start removing everything. And I just noticed something right here. This sun visor, the person who put them on, maybe the customer removed it and put a new one, uh, replace it for this. This sun, is not, this sun visor is not working prop, uh, properly. You see, it go all the way back and shouldn't be. It should stop right there. If I try to move it, to the to the outside look it's stuck so i'm going to remove it and i'm going to put it the right way and you will see it right now i just removed two screws i am using a screw gun uh if you don't have experience uh, remo uh, doing car interior i prefer I, re I recommend you to use a manual tool you see i removed the sun visor i'm gonna twist it a little bit right there a little bit like that and I will put it back and you will see it it will go all the way to the left before it is stuck when I was trying to move it to the left I just put one screw and look right now it go all the way to the left that's the way it should be that's the way it should be before if you rewind the video you will see it stop before those things when you have experience you will notice right away when something is not uh, put in right and the customer believe me the customer will notice this thing as soon as if he moved the sun bites, he will notice that right now uh, after the headline is done will be on the right position right there you have to remove that uh, uh, hook and you have a Philip screw and I use a Phillips screwdriver and I start removing by hand. I cannot use the screw gun in there because uh, the hole is small. And I just pull a little bit and it has wire in there. See those two wire? It's still two wire in there. Leave those wire in there. Just remember how you remove those parts. Remember. Same thing right here. A plastic is covered that is screw. I think you can see better on there. You see I am removing that screw. And it's easy. That is that screw is out with the hook. So now I'm going to remove the other sunbice. And this sunbice only have one screw. I make sure that the light is working and it is working. 
it had two screw summer said it only have one so the both sun visor are out so now it is time to remove the mirror to remove this mirror first I am making sure to put the sunroof all the way up and to remove that mirror you have to pull it it had like a one one pin all the way across with uh, with two spring and that pin get into a hole you see that mirror is out and to put it back you have to make a pressure on it push it and you can see that spring in there and you can see that pin in there those and other pin get into a hole so that is how now it is time to remove the this uh, plastic light and you have to remove the chrome that is holding that headliner too and you just pull it you see that chrome is out and make sure to put it back exactly how it is to remove that light it had like a certain like how do I say a certain like um, hood just remove that plastic and you will be able to see it where are located see it's not a screw in there some um, headliner in there had like a screw now you will be able to see that some um, click or chrome click you have to use a very tiny flat screwdriver and you have to push it see I push it one and that part is out and I'm going to do the same thing with the other side there is a hole and you have to push put the tiny flat screwdriver in that hole and push it because that click is in there see that part basically is out just be careful don't push too hard those clips because you might be uh, break it so now you just have to disconnect it make sure pay attention how those parts are connected because you have to connect it same way like how it is I just going to disconnect the mirror because I have to disconnect the mirror and it is disconnected you can leave the rest of the part in there it is not necessary to remove it in case if you think you're going to get confused later uh, don't remove it but just disconnect the mirror and uh, remove the mirror from there sometimes some Mercedes have a microphone in there have a microphone and have a like a, a some um, program that you have to uh, um, use the mirror it, it, it is on the mirror the button is on the mirror or the function when you press a certain button on the mirror uh, you can call um, an emergency make sure to disconnect that too in case if you, the Mercedes and that you are working on had that um, uh, function and now I'm going to disconnect the front post the front, front post comes with a uh, song click I am using a, a click removing tool you can buy this at Home Depot, Lowe's in any auto part in the United States first put your hand on it and see where the click is located and I don't know if you can see the click in there but the click didn't come out on the plastic the click stay inside the car 
so you see that little plastic in there that plastic get inside the click sometimes the click come with that plastic but on this time I didn't come out now you have to remove the center post that post right there you have to remove it you have to remove that handle too see it's a plastic in there cover, covering that screw soon as you remove that plastic you will be you will see the screw if it is feeling if it is a torch you'll be able to see it and this one it is Phillips and I am using the screwdriver after I done removing the uh, passenger side handle I had to remove this gasket because it have been there for a long time might be hard to uh, remove it and I'm going to remove the passenger side from post and it is out the front section of this Mercedes uh, those parts are out So now I'm going to disconnect the headliner from this part because it is like a, it, the headliner right there had like a little hook all the way in there and it's grabbing the metal of the car uh, of the car in that area. And there are some screws that are holding the headliner. So you have to remove those screws, especially on the side. And some car are screw and some car are just click see those small screw in there are three make sure to remove it it is not necessary to remove the sunroof panel for this it is not necessary I remove it because I'm going to wrap it with the new material I'm going to reupholstery that sunroof panel that's what I remove it but it's not necessary and I'm going to remove this part but it is not necessary that part you just push it all the way back the sunroof panel just move all the way back I'm going to put the camera right here and I'm going to remove those three screws that are on the driver's side and are three on the passenger side are three small screws there is one Toro R4 and I got four already just put them on the side plate because you don't want to lose none of those you have to put it back so that part is loose see it is loose now I can remove the headliner. Uh, the beginning, I uh, the beginning of removing those uh, screw. I say three, and a total of five screw. I recorded this video a long time ago. Now I have to unhook the head part of the headliner in there. You have to pressure, push it down. And that part is disconnected from the car.
now I'm going to remove the rear quarter panel. How to remove the rear quarter panel? Well, you have to remove the seat belt. And in order to remove the seat belt, you have to remove the seat. On this headliner, because I'm going to a rear posture, the quarter panel, I'm going to remove it. But if you are just going to rear posture, the headliner, it is not necessary to remove the core, uh, completely the quarter panel. It is not necessary to remove the bottom cushion. It is not necessary to rem uh, unbolt the seat belt. It is not necessary because I'm going to a uh, rear posture the quarter panel. That's why I'm going to remove the seat and the, uh, unbolt the seat belt. If you are going to reupholster the headliner, just unloose the quarter panel. Remove those clicks and pull it and remove it. So the seat belt are unbolted. Now you're going to uh, remove the quarter panel. If you are just going to reupholster the headliner, this is what I I I going to do. This is what I supposed to do. Remove the gasket that I just did it, and look right there. I going to remove that quarter panel but I'm going to leave it on there by leave it on there it's not necessary to remove the seat and unbolt the seat belt if you are just going to do the headliner I want to make clear that point because sometimes you just have to reupholster the headliner First, you gotta uh, see where the click is located. Put the click remover on there and make pressure on it. So, you see, it is disconnected that, that area. So, like that. If you're just going to make the headliner, just leave the quarter panel like that. It is more than enough to remove the headliner. But I'm going to uh, cover the quarter panel, so I'm going to remove it. I'm not going to show you how to remove it. I'm going to remove the handle now, and it's the same as the, as the front one. I have like a two plastic over the screw. And remove those plastic and you will be able to see the screw. So I got those handles out, so now um, the headliner is still um, attached on the back. You have to remove that light. Be behind that light is a click that you have to remove it. And unplug the line. And everything is, I haven't removed all those handles, the mirror, the light. So uh, you see the center post? I didn't remove it, but I lost a little bit. And I'm going to push the headliner forward. And you see I didn't remove the light. It is not necessary to remove that part in there too. Now you're going to push the headliner. You can push the headliner to the passenger side or to the driver side. You're going to do it to the passenger side. I push it to that way. 
and I'm going to make sure to remove the headliner out of the center post on the driver's side. See, it's out of the driver's side. Now I move it to the driver's side. And I move the seat backward, all the way, way backward. And I move it now to the passenger side. And this headliner, it is down. So now I'm going to take them out of the car. How you can take them out? Some headliner, you have to fold it. But on this one, the door are big and the headliner is small, so it's not a big deal. In some cars, you have to remove the center console in order to take the headliner out of the car. In some car, not on this one. And you have to make sure to move the front seat all the way back. That way you have more room in the front. Even with the seat all back, with the center console on, you have to force it a little bit, a little bit. If it, this car wa, uh, was a uh, two door, uh, it is so easy when the car is two door because uh, the door are big. I'm going to put the camera right here, that way you can see. It. And see, I just move this gasket and put them inside. Now you're going to uh, take the headliner out of the car. If you don't move the back, uh, the front seat all the way back will be hard for you. And when the upholstery is new, you have to be careful. Don't scratch the upholstery from the center console and for the seat. As you can see, I already uh, take this headliner out of the car. It is a board, some headliner are fiberglass. This it is a board. And now I have to remove the old material. Make sure uh, to remove everything, everything. And right there is a piece of metal, it's like a frame around that board. And I, I am not going to remove that frame. I just cut it around it and I will clean it so good like I did with the, a quarter panel and with the sunroof panel. If you haven't seen those videos related to the sunroof panel of this car and with the color panel, uh, just um, uh, go to the playlist and search under uh, Mercedes headliner sunroof panel. See, there is another hole for the light on the back. And I, I am not going to remove the frame. There is a metal frame around the hole and I don't remove it. You can remove it if you want, but it is not necessary, believe me. I put this in the trash in there and I'm going to uh, start cleaning. In some hairliner, that is so hard to do it. In some hairliner and some like on this one, it is not hard to do it, but it will take you. It will take time. Even if you have experience, it will take time. I move the camera that way you can see it. Yeah, And I will use carpet. You see, that's carpet. I'm going to use the back side of that carpet to clean it. You can do it this way. And it will come out. You will be able to clean it with that carpet. And you can see it. I get the carpet, I fold it, and you see it is coming out. On this headliner. There are other headliners that carpet it doesn't work. You will need a wire brush. Or you will need a die grind a die grinder uh, with a wire brush in order to clean it, and you have to make sure to remove everything, everything. Make sure 
Or the way, if you don't clean it good, you might be able to put glue, you might be able to put a new material on top, but at two weeks or two months or three months or four months, uh, the material might uh, unglue it. And then my customer might bring it back to you and you have to fix it. So that headliner is clean already. And now you have to know how big it is. You can put the roll on top and just uh, cut it. Don't cut them exactly. Give it at least at least three inches overall, all around three inches extra. Three inches on the front, three inches on the back, and and on the side. But it's not necessary because this material is weak. It's like sixty inches, and the headliner had like fifty-two inches. So I cut the material already. So next, you have to put glue. You can do this half, you put glue on that half, and then you put the glue on the other, uh, on the board, half, and you glue it. Half, and then half. Or you can do all at one time. I always like to put glue all at one time. It requires practice because if you made a mistake, you have to uh, cut a new material, um, I, that would be wasting money, wasting time. And I am here to make money, not to wasting money or wasting time. Time is money. See it that way. So I am putting glue, you see. Don't leave a spot on the material without putting glue. That I have a glue already. And now I am going to put glue on, that, on this board. And same right here. Put a lot of glue. Don't leave a spot with a glue. What happens if you leave like a spot with a glue? Well, that place will be on the air. If you drive the car, uh, let's say you're on the highway, and you go like 70 miles per hour, 60 miles per hour, even 80 miles per hour, you know the wind go, uh, will go through inside. Soon if the air gets inside the material, that a small bubble will get in bigger and bigger and bigger. And will, be, and will be so notable that the customer might say, oh, look what is happening on here. And all the time when you make a headliner, you have to warrant it. You have to give like three months, six months. In case if something happened during those three months or six months, uh, uh, the headliner will be under warranty and you have to fix it. That's how it works. Some customers want like a year of warranty. Of course, if it, if it is your fault, but it's a customer fault, it's not warranty. Let's say if the customer is drinking a coffee and then he um, he go through a bump and the coffee going through the headliner and that, that that is not under warranty. This is fault. So now I got the headliner on here I'm going to start rubbing. Make sure to use the palm of your hand and look, I start right there from the hole of the sunroof panel. Always, always, I start from there. When the car have a sunroof, I recommend you to start from there. From inside and then go through outside. I carry right here because I need to release pressure on that area. And you can see him on there. And now you uh, keep working from inside to outside a little by little. A little by little. You stop your palm, your hand. And make sure no mark, no bump. No wrinkle either. Uh, when you are using like uh, this kind of material, this kind of material how is 1A thickness. It's for headliner. When you're using this kind of material, it is so easy. But if you're using vinyl, you gotta pay attention to that because sometimes with vinyl, uh, it is hard to remove a uh, wrinkle.
and I got this hairline with the material. So now I'm gonna flip it over and work in the back side, and I have it right there. You see me cutting on there? I don't cut them exactly around the edge. Original was like that, exactly around. I just give you like one inch extra all around because I'm going to fold in. It is better to fold in instead of cutting uh, exactly. Then after I cut, I cut all around, I put glue because I need to glue those pieces together. And I will put glue on the sunroof panel holes on both, uh, on both um, the board and then on the material. And same thing, I'm going to cut it extra right here. Right here, I don't, I don't give it one inch extra. I give it like inch and a half. If you have to trim it later, uh, you can adjust it later. So you see, first I cut the corner, then I pull it and fold it. That cut, um, if you see that cut from outside, you didn't make it right. So make sure to cut it and look for outside and see if you can see it. Don't cut it too much because if you cut it too much, you will be able to see it from outside. Customer will be able to see it from outside. And that is not going to uh, look good. That is going to um, affect your job. Customer might say, I don't like that cut in there. It, before it wasn't like that. So that's why you have to spend time. Cut it like a half inch before to the uh, board. Half inch. And then I fold it. I got the part done. So now you're going to fold all around. Sometimes I just do it on the front and on the back. You see I unfold them on the front. So I already folded all around and I am making this hole. I just made like a X in there. And same thing on the where the hood or the some biceps. Same thing like a X and you can cut the hole. Right here I'm going to cut it, but I'm gonna I am gonna going to cut them exactly like cut it like a one eight extra. One eight of an inch extra. Same thing right here. And you're going to do that with all the rest of the hole. And you can see him on the, it's not exactly, it had extra. So this headliner is ready to go put them on. It just has to um, make a cut in there with the handle and you can see him on there, just going to blow because I can see how like a sun does in there. And remove everything, clean it, everything. So it is time to take it to the car. But before I, I was I was sewing something that I didn't want to come up with the air, so that's why I'm using like liquid. If you're going to use gasoline and hairliner, you have to be careful because gasoline may, may unglue uh, the material. So be careful, gasoline and lacquer thinner. I use a degreaser or soft in case if you have to remove any uh, dirty spot in there. So it's time to put them on. And same thing as before, 
I'm going to uh, put it to the front door. And now it is new, so you have to be careful. Before was old, but right now it is all new. So that headline it is in my friend. Just have to put them on place and make sure. Uh, match those holes, the hole with the board and the hole with the car. Match them. Like right here, this headline it had to get in and where the sunroof panel go you it has to get in and it has to get in the back the back where the light is it has like a click you will be able to see it when you are removing that part see I bring the light out there is a click and you can see it right there that click it has to get in there make sure that click it has to get in there you can remove that click out of, out of the headline and will be easier to be careful don't put your finger use the palm of your hand And that headliner is locked in there. The click is in. So the click is enough to hold the part. Now you have to make sure to get in front in there. It is in. So now it is time to start putting the front. Every time that you remove it, you have to put it back. Everything. We're going to put the camera right here. I'm going to show you something. I already put the chrome. The chrome or that piece of molding that it was on the holding the headliner on the front section. It is easy to put them on. And I'm going to show you that part right now. See? That crumb right there. And I put the screw already, but I'm going to remove it. That way you can see it. Because I told my camera I was recording that part, but I didn't. So the front crumb, it is not a big deal to put them on. You see those screws? Are fiber screw. I did put them on. I'm going to remove it and I'm going to put it back. That way you can see it. See, I am removing those screw. Our fiber screw. And now I am going to put it back. The hairline was down. The function of those screws is to hold the hairline attached to the chrome. And now I am putting back. Okay. That part is done. Now you can put the sunroof panel. If you remove it, I'm going to put the camera right there. That way you can see how I put everything back. And I'm going to put this part first. 
this part it doesn't have a screw it only have like click and you have to know uh, where exactly those clicks are located in order to remove it soon as you uh, soon as when you remove it uh, you will know uh, how to put it back so soon as I connect it I going to put the mirror first and you have to make pressure on the mirror uh, if you can if you have to put oil or degreaser that way it can go in put it the mirror is seen you just has to put them on place and then push it and this is easier I just put those uh, front click and push it you see that, was, that part the mirror and that part is are on so, and the light are working So that part is done. Now I'm going to put the two uh, hood for the sun visor. And make sure those holes, before you put the mirror, before you put that, uh, like a those accessory light in there, make sure those holes match each other. In case if it doesn't match, you have to uh, move it. So I put that plastic in there and I go down, put the other side and both plastic are on but I need to put two screws, one on each plastic. And I done putting those screws. Now I am putting this post. And make sure when you put those posts, make sure to uh, those click grab the plastic post. I'm going to put a center post, and there uh, you have to. Uh, some some people remove this post, and some people don't. I remove it because it is easier that way. Make sure when you put the post back, make sure to that part of the seatbelt move up and down. Up and down. You see how it move? If it is stuck that part, it is not in the right place. Shouldn't stuck. Should move up and down. So you can see those click in there. Those click are holding the post. And same thing right here. First, look where the hole or, or the, that plastic have like a holes. In the car, the seat bay or a part have like a little tips, like a pin that pin you have to get into that hole where the plastic is by matching those two parts it will work automatically if it's stuck it's because something is not right now i make sure to uh, grab with those click that uh, uh, plastic post so that post is done and it is moving so Everything's fine in there. So I gotta put this gasket back and the post too. See, here is the post, and it is easy. If it, the first, uh, the post, uh, the click from the bottom get in, the rest, all of them will, in, will go in. The hardest one is to put the first one. you have to know exactly where the hole is located and then you just hit a little bit and you see that part is done S 
now we're going to put the sand visor. The sand visor comes with two screw Phillips. Uh, I am using a punch hole just to uh, the screw with the uh, the Phillips, and I'm going to use the screw gun. It is faster and easier. So that is done. And I'm going to tie this uh, hood. And let's see if the sun visor work. See, it's working. And I close. And that light will turn off. Now, because the sun ray is disconnected, don't turn off the car. Don't turn on the car. So I'm going to put this uh, a passenger sun visor with the passenger handle. And you see the hole are there, those holes are matching each other, so you just have to put this handle. And there on the, on the car should be two holes, the one for the screw and the one for the uh, this handle has like a little tip, like a little guide on it, and both of them it has to uh, line up. Now I'm just going to put those plastic that are cover those holes, and are two plastic. So that part is done. I just need to put the sun visor on that area. That way I can say the front part of this uh, headline is done. Let's see if the light work. The light is working, so that means everything is fine. I'm going to put the rear quarter panel, uh, the rear handle in that line. Okay, there are the hole. Make sure the hole are matching. Then you get the handle. Put this light, just remember how you uh, take them out, connect it, and, 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 and it's only one way how you can put it back. Now you're going to put this handle. Okay, that handle is done. Now I'm going to put this quarter panel. And you have to click in there, make sure those holes line up. Then when, uh, uh, when you those holes uh, are lined up, push it down, then push it forward. And then see where those holes are located on the side of quarter panel because the quarter panel has click. And you will hear the noise of the click. So it, that quarter panel is done. So now we're going to put the gasket that is going around. And basically you're going to do the same with the other side. I am, I am not going to show you how to do it because it is easier. And 
then the other side is done too. Make sure from outside that it, it, it's all the way in because sometimes it looks like if it is in but you can see a gap between the plastic and between the, uh, the, uh, the rubber. And now I am bolting the seat belt. Uh, I, I mentioned before this and I'm going to repeat it. I remove the quarter panel because I wrap it with a new material. I reupholster it. But if you are going to just uh, wrap it the headliner or uh, reupholster the headliner, it's not necessary to unbolt the seat belt and to remove the bottom cushion. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. And as a last, I just put the seat, put the seat back, and it's, it is easy to put it back. So easy. Just making sure those uh, seat belts are on the right spot. And that bottom cushion it has to lock. Make sure it's locked because sometimes kid uh, go in there, uh, customer put the baby chair in there. And this hairliner is done, my friend. I didn't show you how to put the, the sunroof panel because uh, this uh, video was all about how you can reupholster the hairliner. And the headliner, uh, it is not necessary to remove the sunroof panel. It is not necessary, that's why I didn't show you how to remove it, and I didn't show you how to put it back. I have a video uh, related to the sunroof panel, and a video related to the quarter panel, how you can remove it, and how you can put it back. And here it is, it's done. A lot of people were asking me about that video, this video in English, because I have it from a long time ago in Spanish. And I understand, uh, it is not easy to follow uh, somebody who is speaking in a different language. And especially when you are working on a job that you never done it before and you want to understand exactly what that person is saying. Uh, that way you can follow it. I made this video for those uh, person, for those uh, people who are uh, learning in upholstery. For me, it's not a big deal to uh, make a headliner or to wrap a headliner like this one. It, it is not hard. But I understand if you never done something like this before, it might be hard. Might, you might be ending broken some plastic, believe me. That happened to me a long time ago. Uh, uh, and it's understandable because you don't have experience. So that's why it is uh, I put this video, I share this video with you. That way you can have an idea how you can approach, how you can remove plastic, how you can put it back, how you can clean it, how you can reupholster it. That is the purpose of this video. Of this video, give you an idea how you can start a job and finish that job. Um, thank you for watching this video. And here you have it, three videos related to this 1999 Mercedes-Benz headliner. See you in the next video. Just one more thing, my friend, uh, when you finish everything, make sure everything is working like how it was before. Make sure that, make sure to check it. I didn't want to close this video without uh, pointing that at that because it is very important. So thank you.